Hi everyone, lovely to have you joining us today. Once again, we're on the 7.3 mile Ulster Grand Prix circuit. One of the most famous road races in all the world and touted as well as being the fastest. Many great riders have traveled these roads, men like Tom Heron, men like Ron Haslam, and men like Steve Hislop, the Dunlop brothers, and so it goes on. The greatest road racing riders in all the world would have come to the Ulster Grand Prix circuit over the years. This part of the course, just behind me here, I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but there's a crossroad sign. Flu Bog Crossroads. Quite a name, isn't it? Flu Bog Crossroads. And in the Bible, in the book of Ruth, we are introduced to Ruth, to Naomi, and to a woman called Orpah. And as they were coming out of Moab, heading back towards Israel, Ruth's mother-in-law encouraged her to go back to Moab. They had reached a crossroads. And Ruth had to make a decision. Will I go forward or will I go back? She was making a decision. She had come to a crossroads. And in life, we often come to a crossroads, a place where we have to make choices, a place we have to make a decision. Will I go back? Will I go forward? Will I turn to the left? Or will I turn to the right? The crossroads of life, the crossroads of decision. And so Ruth was given this opportunity to turn back. She had no obligation to go on. Nobody was forcing her to go into Israel and to side with the people of God. But she made that decision. She came to the crossroads. And rather than going back to Moab, back into the world, she made the decision, I'm going to go on with God. I'm going to choose God. I'm going to trust in the God of Israel. I'm going to trust in the God of heaven. And friends, that is exactly what she did. And in Ruth chapter 1, verse number 16, Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Where thou diest, I will die, and where I will be buried, the Lord do so to me. And more also, if aught but death part me, and thee. So she's siding with the people of God. She's joining God's people. She's saying, I want to walk with God. I want to side with the children of Israel. I want to know this God that you're talking about, and I want to go through with him. There's nothing for me in the world. There's nothing for me in Moab. I want to go through with God. Maybe that's the decision you have to make. Maybe you've come to the crossroads of life, the crossroads of decision, and you have to make that choice to go through with God, to put your faith and trust even in him. The Reverend Duncan Campbell, great man of God, used of the Lord in the faith mission, saw revival in different parts of Scotland, but most notably the Isle of Lewis, had a wonderful conversion experience whenever he was a young man, playing the bagpipes in the dance hall, just outside of the little town of Oban, Benderlock was the name of the place. He was playing a tune, the Green Hills of Tyrol, as people were dancing around him. And all of a sudden, he came under conviction of sin. And he began to think about another hill, a hill called Calvary. And they were nailing the Saviour to a tree. He put down the bagpipes. He walked out of the dance hall. The chairman said, Duncan, where are you going? He says, I'm troubled about my sin. I'm going home to get right with God. The man laughed and says, Duncan, you'll get over that soon enough. But he didn't get over it. He left the dance hall. He walked down the road. He came to a crossroads. He heard footsteps behind him and there was another young man troubled about his sin as well. And they talked for a while at the crossroads. He says, Duncan, what's wrong? He says, I'm troubled. I'm concerned about my soul. I need to get right with God. The other young man was equally concerned and they were standing at a crossroads. The young man says, Duncan, what are you going to do? He says, I'm going home to get right with God. The other young man says, well, I'm going to wait and think about it. Maybe some other time I'll put my faith 
and trust in Christ. Duncan Campbell went home, <coughs> made the journey. But on the way home, he saw the church lights were on in his local church. His father was in the church with some other men and they were praying for the salvation, even of their families. Duncan Campbell spoke to his father. His father said, we'll go home, get right with God. He went home, the light was on in the kitchen. His mother was praying that night for his salvation. He spoke to her about the trouble and the concern of souls. She says, go out into the barn and tell God. And he prayed his way into the kingdom of God, became a great servant of Christ. Many years later, a few faith mission pilgrims were in a nursing home in Scotland. And after the meeting was over, they spoke to some of the residents. They spoke to one old man who was very stern and very hard against the gospel. They encouraged him to come to Christ. He put up his hand and said, speak to me no more about that matter. I made my decision the night Duncan Campbell got saved. You see, they both had reached a crossroads one night. One turned to the left and one turned to the right. One got right with God, one rejected God. And it set the course of the lives that they lived thereafter. Maybe you've reached the crossroads of decision. I encourage you, come to Christ. Trust the Lord as your Savior. May God bless you and thank you for joining us again.